Hey you guys, before I got into the video, I just wanted to talk briefly about my new ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Whether you're looking to improve your sex life and your dating life, or if you're just looking to expand your knowledge about astrology, this is definitely the right book for you. This book is meant to help you improve your sex life, your, your dating life, and your love life, your relationships, and to spice it up in the bedroom if need be, um, or to just once again, you know, help you learn more about astrology. So if you're interested in any of these things, if you're interested in learning in learning about the different love languages and the different sex languages of the zodiac signs, definitely look into getting this book, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, written by me, edited by me, and designed by me, Lamar Townsend. So you can purchase this uh, ebook on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, or you can purchase it on Amazon, on the Amazon Kindle ebook store, all right, or just amazon.com. All right, into the video we go. Thank you for listening and watching. The best gay zodiac sign matches. Well, first of all, happy Pride Month, you guys. As you guys know, or may not know if you're new to my channel, I am gay. And here I am about to talk about the best gay zodiac sign combinations, okay? So, when we think of gay relationships, we have to remember that we are talking about relationships with people who are of the same sex. Now, when we have people, you know, heterosexual relationships, you have the, you know, feminine and masculine energies to balance each other out. Now, of course, you know, we all have our own, you know, amount of masculine and feminine in us, but for the most part, in a heterosexual relationship, there is, you know, no matter what the sign is, you know, you, there could be two Aries, but at least there's the masculine Aries and the feminine Aries, you know, the male Aries, the female Aries to balance each other out, right? The yin and the yang. But then when we talk about, you know, gay relationships, we have to remember that, you know, we have same sex. So male, male, female, female. Um, now, of course, no male, no female, no gender, no specific uh, race of people. No person is the same is what I'm trying to say, you know, so we have to take that into account as well. But when we have two people of the same genders, you know, in a relationship, we have to remember that there is no kind of yin-yang to balance one another out, right? So we have to take kind of a microscope a little bit and look at, you know, the compatibilities on a deeper level, all right? So on a zodiac level, when we think of you know, because when we think of gay relationships, we want to think of, like, balance. Balance, you know, the yin balancing balancing the yang, all right? Since we can't do that in gender form, you know what I'm saying, which is cool, totally fine, right? Um, doesn't mean anything. We have to take it in energetic form, okay? And the zodiac astrology um, is really energy, all right? So... For example, okay, we, we think of the zodiac signs, you know, we think of the element, the zodiac signs are, are the elements the zodiac signs are associated with, um, you know, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus are all earth signs, all right, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo are all fire signs, okay, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini are all air signs, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio are all water signs. So when we have the elements, you know, we have to think into, you know, we have to take into account um, which elements balance one another out. Earth and water, fire and air, right? You need the earth and the water to create resources for, you know, the world, to create resources for the people. You need the air and the fire to have, to keep the fire going, you know, to uh, burn the food that needs to be burned, to uh, burn the things that need to be burned. Like there's so much spiritual, you know, benefit to fire, but that's a whole different video. Um, but you can't have fire without air, right? So when we think of it in that way, uh, the best zodiac sign combinations for gay relationships are those that balance one another out. So, um, think of it now in opposite zodiac signs, okay? Each zodiac sign, each zodiac sign has a polar opposite, okay? A polar opposite zodiac sign and also typically polar opposite elements. So, for example, you know, it's water and uh, earth, you know, typically, you know, um, that are polar opposites and air and fire that are also polar opposites. So, 
For example, you know, Taurus is the polar opposite zodiac sign of Scorpio. So, in a gay relationship, a Taurus man and a Taurus man can go together, or a, a Taurus man and a Scorpio man can go together, or a Taurus woman and a Scorpio woman can go together, because there's that balance of energies, you know, where it's the opposite, but at the same time, there's that commonality where you can't go too far to the spectrum. You, it's definitely possible to go too far to the spectrum, but the balance of energies can kind of keep it from getting that far, you know? Now, with opposites comes, you know, um, challenges that have to be, you know, overcome, of course, you know? Um, so, with that being said, you know, um, while opposites do attract, opposites are compatible, you know, in gay relationships, Taurus and Scorpio are polar opposites, Cap Capricorn and Cancer are polar opposites, Zodiac signs, Virgo and Pisces are polar opposites, Aries and Libra are polar opposite zodiac signs. Gemini and Sagittarius are polar opposite zodiac signs. Leo and Aquarius are polar opposite zodiac signs. So when we have that kind of energy, when we, when we put the, the uh, compatibility between the polar opposites in this context, there is a possibility for these two, uh, for the polar opposite, you know, relationships to work in a gay relationship because those uh, those energies are being utilized in uh, a same sex relationship. So there's a, the, those energies are able to be balanced. You know, Taurus, for example, may be the more uh, the more sensitive one, the more practical one uh, with their emotions, with how they express their love, whereas Scorpio may need more depth, they may b be more emotional, they may be more to be able to pull out the emotional side of Taurus, whereas Taurus may be able to be bring out the more practical, earthly side of Scorpio, right? Capricorn and Cancer, um, you know, Capricorn is, is the workhorse, the workaholic, you know, the one who provides for the family, provides for the home. Cancer, who can do the same, but is more emotional, takes care of the home, you know, um, uh, you know, makes the home feel like home, you know, uh, cooks the food, makes the Capricorn, you know, feel welcome after long days of work, you know, um, takes care of the family, the stay-at-home dad, the stay-at-home mom, you know, um, if you, they decide to have a family, like, that's this kind of relationship with these two. Virgo and Pisces, you know, Pisces is the dreamer, all right, the, the artistic, the artist, the, um, this, the, um, the spiritual one, whereas Virgo is the, the, the logical one, the mindful one, the one who keeps the books, right, the one who, um, makes sure everything's in order, right, Libra and Aries, Libra, the, the very, peaceful and calm one, the one who likes to be social out and about, you know, um, and who's very accepting and open of different people, whereas Aries is uh, more more dominant, likes to dominate situations, and likes to uh, overtake situations, whereas Libra can teach Aries maybe how to be a bit more with the people, you know, and Aries can teach Libra how to be a bit more dominant and self-assertive, right? Um, Gemini and Sagittarius, these two are a hoot together, okay? Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter likes to explore and expand. Gemini ruled by Mercury likes to learn and, you know, likes to gain knowledge, you know, and wisdom, just as Sagittarius does, but in different ways. Um, you know, whereas, you know, Gemini may have trouble making a decision because they can def definitely have trouble making decisions. Sagittarius can teach Gemini's ways to overcome that, that difficulty. Gemini can teach Sagittarius how to be more adaptable in, in certain situations, how to, um, rely more on their instincts, all right? Um, and then we have Aquarius and Leo. Leo is ruled by the sun, self-confidence, creativity, romance. And Aquarius, which is ruled by Uranus and uh, Saturn. You know, so Uranus is all about change. Saturn is all about self-discipline, career, profession, status, and society. So this is a very fun relationship, you know, whereas, you know, Aquarius doesn't like to be so bored. Aquarius likes change and fun and, you know, um, constant um, stimulation. And Leo is able to provide that for Aquarius, but at the same time is able to teach Aquarius certain things like being able to um, function in one-on-one -on -one relationships, you know, and to speak up for themselves and to uh, put themselves first above, you know, uh, humanity, other people, you know, which Aquarius can sometimes falter with, you know. Aquarius can teach Leo to be more humanitarian, you know, to be more of a, a leader in the sense of... Uh, doing what's right for humanity, doing what's right for the people, and maybe less, you know, for their own self kind of involvement, you know, so these opposite, you know, kind of energy relationships can definitely, you know, be amazing. Now we also have to take into account 
same energy relationships, same element relationships, you know, um, you know, earth, earth, fire, fire, um, air, air, you know, um, water, water. Now, um, the thing with this is that, you know, when you have two people of the same sex, of the same zodiac signs, this can be a bit of um, this can be some blind spots in this relationship, okay? Like, if you have a cancer with another cancer, cancer man with a cancer man, cancer woman with a cancer woman, um, a lot of emotions, you know, but as whereas if you were to take it, you know, and to put, you know, maybe a cancer with a Pisces, a Capricorn with a Taurus, you know, a Virgo with a Capricorn, a Libra with a Gemini, an Aquarius with a Libra, you know, uh, Scorpio with a, a Cancer, you know, it creates a, a more balance, you know, because remember, we have to think of balance. So the best relationships for uh, gay relationships is, is are, are balanced energies. OK, so we also we also have to take it a step further and remember the planetary energies of these zodiac signs. Like I said, each zodiac sign is ruled by uh, its own planet uh, or ruled by a planet uh, and sometimes two planets. So but it's all about balance with these two. It's all about balance with gay relationships. Um, in zodiac signs, uh, that makes the best matches is, is balanced relationships, and we have to remember not just our sun sign but our moon signs. You know, balance in there. You know, um, our Venus signs, especially our seventh house and fifth house. You know, placements. Um, you know, you don't want to have. You don't want to have two people of the same sex who just can't see eye to eye like for example what would be a, a relationship in which it might be really hard for these two to see eye to eye like a, a maybe a scorpio and an aquarius you know what i'm saying i actually know that might i don't know maybe a scorpio and a capricorn you know what i'm saying like you know not impossible but it's definitely you know saturn you know versus Pluto, who likes to go deeper, Saturn, who's more about routine and doing the same thing over and over, consistency, you know, and Mars, who's more about dominant, Saturn hates to be dominated, so these two can butt heads, you know what I'm saying, so, and every relationship has its kind of ups and downs, you know, um, things that you have to, you know, overcome, but, you know, when you have two very, uh, what's the word, very self-confident people within their capabilities such as you know capricorn and aries or capricorn and uh, scorpio you know ironically aries and scorpio are both ruled by mars you know um and mars is all about dominance you know and, and self-assertiveness so really to make it simple you know uh, opposites attract with gay relationships okay um similar elements are are amazing same zodiac signs can be a bit uh can have its blind spots okay and zodiac signs you know like uh, uh for example earth and air all right and fire and water can have their blockages to overcome or their their guards to overcome you know um or they can be really good relationships you know uh, earth and earth and air are both very you know logical they're both very practical you know they they think first and then they act you know so and then you know uh fire and water are both very expressive with their emotions you know and uh, they act on their emotions so these two can actually go along quite well it really depends on the other placements but to keep it really basic, you know, um, balanced energies, all right, you know, balanced energies, synergies, okay, so, you know, think um, elements, you know, and then think planetary energies, okay, take it a step further, um, you know, what are our zodiac signs, what are the elements of our zodiac signs, are those compatible, all right, what are the planetary um what are the planets that our zodiac signs are ruled by, are those compatible, you know, um, Whereas, you know, maybe Venus isn't so compatible with Saturn, you know, because they're two totally opposite energies. Venus is more um, more focused on relationships and forming bonds and, you know, love and romance, you know. And Saturn is more, you know, focused on career, you know, status in society, things like that. Although Venus also rules money and how we make our money. So, you know, Saturn is definitely focused on money. So, remember these... Two, uh, 
there are loopholes here. There are little things, you know, that um, are very intricate, you know, about each zodiac sign and planetary um, alignments that make it deeper than just zodiac signs, you know, that make it deeper than just, oh, it's earth and water. You have to look at, you know, a lot of different things like the placements and, you know, the planets. So I hope I made a little bit of sense. But, you know, to keep it simple, balance, energies, and gay relationships when it comes to zodiac signs is best. Straight out of the closet, you guys. Happy Pride Month. If you would like a birth chart reading, contact me on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. I would love to read for you. I do individual birth chart readings, regular compatibility birth chart readings, love compatibility birth chart readings, birth chart readings for your business because, yes, your business has its own horoscope. The day your business was established was the day that your business was born, okay? I do birth chart readings for children and so much more. I also do psychic tarot readings, okay? Psychic tarot readings on uh, via email, via Skype and phone, which are more expensive, uh, and so much more. So check all of those out on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Love to read for you. Please like this video, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Instagram at Lamar Townsend, and like me on my Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official, or type in Lamar Townsend Tarot in the search bar. Namaste, love, and light. Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button, share with your friends and your family. And also, please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook, purchase it on my website. Or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?